Here we go. So, hey, I posted this drill up on my Instagram, and anybody who's curious, that's game day underscore preparation. Once again, that's game day underscore preparation. And in this drill, we have uh, Davion Smith, and I'm going to go over a little bit of corrections in this drill that I went over with him um, on what to do and what not to do. Um, you know, so in this drill, you're going to do a icky through the drill, icky through the orange hexagons, jump cut, right to the left, stick with the left foot, pop up right, and you're going to do a right left stick and then you're going to get up field as if we're making a move on the safety so let's go back to the top so we can start our corrections so on here first things first you definitely don't want to pop up when you're doing the icky you always want to stay low you never want to open up your chest you, you see that m on his chest you definitely don't want to see that always want to keep your, your chest over your knees and basically if, if somebody wants to approach you and engage you and hit you that way, if you're low enough, you can still stick your feet in the ground and drive for positive yardage. So that's first. The secondly, we're going to look at his right foot right now. Look at his right foot. You definitely don't want that foot to crash because what we want to do as running backs, we want to have our feet. The less time you have your foot in the ground, the less chance you have of getting the tackling. Point blank, period. You know, so let's go back to it. Watch how his heels crash. You want to keep that plantar flexion. And if you don't know what that is, look it up, gentlemen. So we're going to go through here. One, two, three. Heels crashing. Watch. I love how he presses the green cone. You press it, get both feet in the ground, but what I don't want here, and if you look, we have both feet flat, crashing. You definitely want to stay on your toes because, as I said before, the less time you spend in the ground, the less time, chance you have of getting tackled. Always remember that. So in here, we're going to go back, and then he's going to go into the jump cut, which I love to stick, but again, one more time, we have the foot in the ground definitely want to keep your toes in the ground only no heels crashing that way you can just pop and get out of it and burst out of that cut so let's go back into it so let's move to the the last sequence which is getting up on the third level so and before i move up to the third level watch right here watch how his head pops up he should be staying this low the whole time right here right here watch how he pops up and opens up and what happens i see that m again so the next time we go through this drill, once we work on a couple of things biomechanically, we're, my first thing is going to uh, be if I look at the film, I don't want to see that M on his chest. I definitely want him to keep that forward lean. And now he pops up because if you, if you stay low here, and I know I'm kind of you know going off subject a little bit. If you keep it here and you stay low, his burst will be a lot more explosive than what it was. Right here. You definitely want to explode out of that cut because, like I said, you're trying to get to the third level. You're trying to get to the end zone. And here, I love this part right here. This is actually perfect textbook. That right foot, but definitely want to keep his, heel, his heels off the ground. Keep his heels off the ground, toes only. Left foot, right foot. Uh, you know, if you look here, I'll take it a little bit, but still, the foot looks a little flat. You definitely never want, in this whole drill, your heels should never touch the ground. You should always be on your toes, keeping your feet activated. So let's go back, and then he finishes out. So let's watch this drill back in full speed. Let's see how it looks. So we're going to go ahead and play it. One, two, three. Jump cut. Stick. One, two. And he gets out, and he finishes. That's good stuff right there. Follow me on, at, on Instagram at, at game day underscore preparation. You can follow me on YouTube at game day preparation for more drills and more corrections. Thank you.